Can HBAR contend with Cardano? That is what we're going to talk about in this video, guys. And listen, I love both of these communities. And I have noticed something recently with HBAR that has really sparked my attention. The community is very, very special and very, very vocal. And I am going to be making a lot more HBAR content. So make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe down below, because I'm already an HBAR investor and I am looking forward to even adding more to my position because the more I learn about HBAR, the more I love about what's going on. So before we get to the comparison between Cardano, I'm gonna take you through some things right now happening with HBAR, what makes it unique, and uh, that way you're well-schooled and well-versed. And of course, always do your own research here. This is never financial advice. We're looking at the price right now of HBAR, sitting just over $0.05. Cents. Now, the all-time high is around $0.57. Cents. So that gives us about a 10x leeway, uh, runway rather, to the all-time high. Now, I think we're going to pass that with flying colors, uh, like a lot of the top altcoins, when we get back into a full-fledged bull cycle. But I want to take you into something that recently happened here back on the 20th, just a couple days ago, a few days ago. The inventor of Hashgraph, Lehman Baird, takes to the stage at Hedera Governing Council, meeting at Google Cloud, headquartered in California. And it says, we look forward to sharing more details with our community and beyond, showcasing what responsible governance looks like in Web3. So that's pretty sweet in and of itself. Now, what makes HBAR unique? Well, Hedera Hashgraph is very similar to Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's a decentralized distributed network, right? But this system has higher security and validation algorithms than blockchains. See, this is a little bit different than blockchain. Hedera uses Hashgraph technology instead of blockchain for its distributed open ledger. Some advanced algorithmic stuff under the hood makes some PhDs cross their arms. Now, Hashgraph networks are a good alternative to blockchain for a few reasons. They help open, uh, implement open ledgers and support cryptos in a similar fashion. But there is no mining involved with Hashgraph, so they don't have much environmental impact, which, of course, has come as a main issue in the eyes of regulators. And what about transaction costs? Well, those could be lower when we're talking about Hashgraphs. There's also nothing better than a Hashgraph-based open ledger for security, anonymity, performance, and capacity. These are all the things we look for when we look at an open ledger. Now, it's the only open ledger that uses Hashgraph tech right now, but Hedera Hashgraph's API provides detailed instructions and open source code examples. HBAR itself, the token, is a utility token on Hedera. Aside from paying for transactions, HBAR tokens are staked on the network, giving a weighted voting system to verify transactions. It's like proof of stake with Ethereum. Now, let's dive into the big question. A lot of people want to know. If Hedera had Cardano's market cap of $13 billion, that means one H bar would be worth $0.41. Cents. That's an upside of 681%. Do I think it could happen? Well, certainly, yes. H bar has already been this high. But, of course, Cardano's market cap was much higher at this point when Hedera hit its all-time high. Do I think HBAR could someday pass up Cardano? Perhaps, because I look at Cardano as a little bit further along, obviously a little bit bigger community, but HBAR's technology is very unique. And I say all this to say that I own both. I own Cardano and HBAR, and I think they're different, and I think they serve different purposes. They're similar in a lot of ways as well, but I think they can both coexist. I think there's room for great companies. I think both of them are that, and both of them will be here to stay. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to be doing a lot more HBAR content. This community is strong. I see you guys all the time in the uh, Cardano comments. So I'm here for you. Let's talk. All right. We'll see you. Bye.